One first world problem that you're embarrassed of. No, first world problem. I just being beaten up. <laughs> I never saw Tari as a main face. It was my story. <laughs> <laughs> Karishma aka Soul Kari and today we're going to be uncovering a designer duo who is my favorite and the world's favorite because they've designed so many iconic celebrities like I can't even I think it'll be easier to name the ones that they haven't designed because there's so many like there's Beyonce there's the Bachchan family there's Judi Dench Dame Maggie Smith and then some so obviously lots if I say anything more and I use any more adjectives I think I'll be insulting them so I'm going to quickly introduce you to Abu and Sandeep. Hi Sandeep. Hi. And thank you for doing this for us. Thank it's, you for having us over. It's so much inaugural fun. Inaugural. <laughs> edition. Edition, yes. So, so I'll tell you what, this edition is about collaborations. Okay. And I think you guys have been the biggest designer collaboration from the OG times. Okay. So I want Collaboration is the new word by the way. True. So I want to ask you, what do you think collaboration means and is it really necessary today? Uh, it's just one more word like, what's your pronoun? Correct. So it's a collab, right? Yeah. It sounds good, it sounds hip. So I actually think it's a good thing to do, but everything is a collab now. So, like where this. does it end? You know, and then <laughs> now it's a collab. What the next word is going to be, by the time we come to interview the next time, there'll be another word. Yeah. Let's let's call it partnership then. Part <laughs> yes. But, but um, I think it's benefiting both. I think these collabs, when both posts, it benefits both. True. My crowd comes to you, your crowd comes to me. That's and then true. we all clap, clap. And then we all clap, clap. Okay, so if I ask you about fashion, that's going to be quite obvious. So I'm not going to. Okay, lovely. Yeah. I want to talk to you about the personality that you've created on social media. Okay. Okay. So usually when you go to a designer's Instagram page, yeah. you'll see their designs. Yeah. But with you, and Abu sir, we see only memes. Yeah, because it's so boring for me to keep posting designs. Hmm. So, because typically when you go to a designer's page, there's his take on a bride and then the, their main page is showing a Correct. similar bride or the same bride. And I think and there's much more to life and, and especially with COVID and everything that's been happening. Everything has been so sad. All around us. So true. And one just said, let's lift ourselves out and let's do fun things. And everybody wants a laugh. Everybody's got a dirty mind. I have a specially dirty mind, I have to admit. But uh, also, I get lots of hate now, you know. Do you? Yeah, we get, I get people who understand humor. Oh my God, that means you've you arrived know? in the world of social media. <laughs> yes, you get people, you know, people who don't understand humor. People, first and foremost, people think I'm doing my own memes. I'm not writing my own <laughs> memes, guys. I scout around, it's a lot of hard work. You don't just don't find the meme, the one you want to post immediately takes you two days sometimes, wow. takes you two hours sometimes and maybe it's two seconds sometimes. I have a wonderful uh, guy who works in office named Alvin. I follow him and he has the saddest and the funniest meme. <laughs> so some days I just go to him and just scout, scout, him, scout on him. And um, so I have fun on, on the page basically. Yeah. That's amazing. Who are the top three meme pages that you love? Meme pages that I love is uh, what is it called? Some fuck one. <laughs> They're uh, all like that, no? Yeah, yeah. One. there's thirsty as fuck. I think there's that's one of them. Some, some other one, and then there's rebel circus is good. Noting down. Yes, and, <laughs> and, and there's some uh, there's a guy called Your Wish or something. He also takes memes of other people, uh -huh. but he's got some really good Hindi content. Ooh. He posts some really good Hindi memes, which are also really funny. There's something called Dank Story, which is also quite dirty. So a lot of people don't get it and a lot of people get it and get abusive. Oh. And you know, we've actually become too serious. Now we're taking everything too serious. A man takes his sexuality seriously, a woman takes their sexuality too seriously. True. Calm the fuck down, people. Agreed. Nobody is judging you. Just chill and enjoy your life. I love that. That is also very true. One first world problem that you're embarrassed of. No, first world problem. Yeah, one first world problem that one is facing that I don't remember any number. Oh, so like birth dates, dates. Birthdays, dates, everything is missed. Oh, God. And then you have to refer to your phone. Like your and phone, 
by chance if it's not given you an indication that it's a birthday or an alert, you actually just miss it. Oh no, yeah, so, that's a big, big problem. It's a big problem. Yeah, true. So you I miss think. out on major <laughs> occasions sometimes. Okay, so one really, I don't know, I genuinely want to know this because I've always wanted to ask you is that how do you come up with the names of your brands like Gulabo or Mart? How did you come up with these? What's your process? So the process is actually very, very simple. Hmm. When we uh, floated Asal, we, we know Abu Jani Sanikosa was being, uh, was inspiring the whole world and other. Hmm. All of India was from Kashmir to Kanyakumari was being inspired. So we said, let's come out with a different brand, which is our philosophy, our story, but with a name which is also pure, which says the real thing, hmm. without it being the real thing. So that's how Asal was born. Ah. And uh, it took us a long time for that one. Uh, Gulabo just came into being because we had just watched Piasa and Vahida Ji's character in that is, name is Gulabo and she's a poetess. Oh wow. And uh, he's a poet and and she is a night walker as well. So it is a very it's a very charming film. If you've not watched it, Piasa is a movie that you guys must watch. Uh, so Gulabo came into being. It's a fun character. It's got some humor. Uh, she's uh, she's shy at the same time. She's, she's seductive. So it was it encapsulated everything that Gulabo was about. Wow! So yeah. Gulabo happened like that. Mart was just a dumb decision. So, <laughs> but it turned man, out to be the best. Yeah, man, man, man. So let's just call it Mart. So simple. Let's call it Mart Babu Sandeep and make it simple. It's too good. And I love Mard because it's so like, people say Mard in a very like, oh, it's a Mardana hai and whatever. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, so I, I love that. I truly love that. It's also a very 780s word. Correct, yeah. you're right. Yeah. Mard ko dar nahi hota kind of Mard ko dar nahi hota. That's a new <laughs> film though. Yeah, I know. Abhi vani ko da Okay, I'm coming to the fun game segment. So okay. This is very intense. It's called One Tight Clap. Okay, One okay. Tight Clap. Where you, it's like a never have I ever. But you clap okay. if you've done something. Okay? Okay. Only if you've done it. Okay. So, complimented someone on their look but hated it for real. <laughs> so many. <laughs> Knew someone is lying but pretended to listen to them anyway. <laughs> pretended to recognize someone when you don't know who they are. <laughs> Including dates. <laughs> um, lied to get out of a conversation with a celebrity. Some. And recently eat it street from from literally the street, like food. Have you from the from like legit gone to the street and eaten from there. Mm. So only one non-clap. No one non-clap. Yeah, that's not a clap, no. <laughs> okay, the next one is how well do you know? But before this we eat a regular street food. Ah, that's okay, you call for it at home and all. Yeah, it's yeah. all of us. Okay, cool. So because you're so um, like you're so happening even today, happening such such a 90s term. But anyway, yeah. so today there's a lot of slang. So what's the word today? Valid? Yeah, oh my god, yes, valid. Woke also. <laughs> Woke. But valid, yes, because we all seek validation all the time. Instagram being the biggest example. Yes. So I want to know if you know all these terms. What are the terms? Yeah, exactly. So these are abbreviations that I'll give you. Tell me if you know the full forms. Most of them I didn't know, so it's very fine if you don't. One is LG. Looking good? No, but no. That's, that should be what it is. But what is it? But uh, Ashutosh Shoni told me it's let's go. Let's go. Like no. LG, LG, that's how they say yeah. it. It's an NFT term. It's LFG. Let's, let's fucking, fucking go. And that's LFG, better. Yeah, okay, better. What is VS? Apart from Victoria's Secret, I don't know what is VS. Vegetable sandwich. <laughs> You know, I must tell you, all this is also in the 70s and 80s. What? Yeah, they should. There's a whole film. It was a copy of this movie called Exorcist, which everybody saw. Of course. And uh, in that day, I think a lot of Govinda movies had this BS, LS. LS, Low I remember. Society and huh, LS. Like, you're so LS. Yeah, you're so LS. I yeah. remember that. Like, LS still Kalina. happens, you know. So, let's fucking go, okay. <laughs> let's fucking go. I Y K Y K. I Y K. I know you're okay, okay. What do you mean? 
I think you you know this. If you know, you know. That's what it is. Okay, if you know, you know. Okay, okay. Hmm. OOTD. Outfit of the day? Yes, you're right. No cap. <laughs> it means no lie. Like, no I lie. love Vada Pao, no cap. Like That's that. That's such a useless term. <laughs> I mean, this one reference to context, man. This is one that we asked Saif Ali Khan. He didn't know what it was. He actually, G-O-A-T. Goat. That's a new term. Greatest of all times. I know this. <laughs> I read this last night. Okay. Snack. Snack? S-N-A-C-K. Correct. Fuck no. no. It's like, you're such a snack. Oh, you're so... So yes, hot. So you're hot. Like, oh my God, hot you're a snack. Hot as a snack. Yeah. Sick as a good... Correct. You know when you accidentally sick, I mean how about yeah. the fuck's happening to the world? Lit is one of them. Lit, oh yeah. TBH. To be whatever. Honest. To be, uh, honest. To be honest. Like I really like the TBH. TBC is to be... <laughs> anyway, TBH is good. Okay. To okay. be honest. This is the last one. Have fun with it, okay? okay. It's called Biohazard. <laughs> So you have to change the bio if you had to write, rewrite these celebrity bios. Okay. What would you write on their bios, Instagram bios? Okay. Okay. Current joy. Uh, let me process. <laughs> take take your time. With it. Been everywhere, done everything. No regrets. With this emoji yeah. next to it. The photograph. Urfi. Going nowhere, doing everything, going nowhere. Lots of regrets. <laughs> no regrets. She also has no regrets. None. Uh, Sonam Kapoor. Uh, she's an OG of style. That's true. She can actually claim yeah, that. Yeah. For sure. Thank you so much for being so candid and Not at all. so creative. I with came your out answers. so dumb in that BYCE, whatever it was, the fuck was more. But I think anyway. you were fab. I think you knew more than I did before this round. Yeah. Trust me, I got to know after. Just this. that you all know I never prepared and this question was not given to me in advance. Because I would never come out as dumb otherwise. You didn't come out. <laughs> you just came up woke. Yeah. So, but honestly, you've been amazing and thank you again. Thank it's you. been an honor. One last thing before we go is a lot of people, like a lot of up and coming, you know, fashion models and designers are watching this. Yes. So, what would you like to tell them for today? There are no shortcuts in life. It's hard work and more hard work and more hard work. Understand, you can get sugar mummies, you can get sugar daddies. They can only give you sugar and no more than that. So, at the end of the day, please work hard. Believe in yourself. And sometimes you're not meant to be a designer or an actor or a model. Choose an alternate career. Don't stay in something which is not rewarding you after three years. If it's not rewarding, it's not giving back to you, it's time to move on. Smell the salt, move on. I love that. Thank you so much. Thank, Thank God I've done this for three years and more. <laughs> Thank you for doing this firstly. You have, don't have to be honored. And all that. <laughs> it's true. <laughs> I've been... Thank you. I know you since such a long time. That's yeah. true, but even so, this is, I have privileged. But okay. I'm going to get right into it. The first thing I genuinely want to know is your fashion style, because I heard this very interesting saying that you can buy fashion, but style is something that you inherit. So I feel like you have a fashion style that is very ahead of its time. And a lot of people try to ape that. <laughs> so what do you have to say for that? No, I, I, I don't think about uh, what it is, but yes, I'm dramatic in my dressing and if I'm inspiring people, it's a very good thing. But basically, uh, yeah, it has to be in you. Yeah. You can't buy, buy it. And for me, it is also to, I make this huge surrounding, you know, to yeah. take away attention from the inner core. Which is very soft. <laughs> this is true about you. Very accurately described. <laughs> that is very true. But honestly, I feel like you're right. Your personality is, I, I think, is an extension of what you wear. And even though as a person you're very, very sweet and soft-spoken, I feel like your style is so immaculate. So 
it does inspire a lot of people but also it inspires people to copy you <laughs> which i have seen that is also okay so you have um, yin and yang you know sandeep is north and south so it, it works it works well <laughs> yeah according to you what is um, that one look in these 35 plus years that you will always i think it will be the most special to you that one look that you stand i think so uh, what is special is the quite a few you one can choose which one but i think uh, crush was a very very it has always been there you know from bengal to lucknow yeah. you know where they used to take this stone yeah. you know and yeah. put, put a lot of starch and then they used to rub that and crush yeah. and dupattas so yeah uh, crush is still a part of it you can see it behind us <laughs> <laughs> and it's so versatile yeah yeah so mera crush bandni yeah If you weren't into fashion, what do you think would have been your alternative career? I don't know. I would be doodling in my exercise books. I'm just being beaten up. <laughs> I never saw that as a main thing. It was my story. <laughs> <laughs> really think so? <laughs> yeah, I I I have a defect, learning defect. You know. Mm. Yeah. And when I was growing, you would never knew what uh, the selection uh, yeah. to be is. So yeah, you be you get beaten up. I'm not studying. <laughs> And sadly, in that time, yeah, you would have really struggled. I yeah, think. So yeah. You were very lucky that you realized what you were really good at, <laughs> and you stuck to that because a lot no, of people. No, no, it struggled. became uh, circumstantial. Yeah. You know, I mean, I just needed the job because I was going to be a party wala otherwise. <laughs> 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 so I took up a three hundred rupee job also. Oh wow! And I, I was an assistant in Pali Hill in a garage. Really? You know? Yeah. For film costumes, there was Zerxes who was yeah. a film costume person, oh, wow. and quite enjoyed. So it gave me direction. And what was wonderful is that little garage mm. just gave me all the training that, you, that no institution also can yeah. give. You know. True, very true. So basically, you learnt on the job. Yeah. Quite yeah. yeah. Wow. We're so thankful for that. <laughs> <laughs> okay, quick segment with you. So on Instagram you have like you have save and you have blocking. Mm. So I'm going to sh- tell you about some fashion styles and you tell me what you think about them. Do you like it? Would you save it or would you block it? Okay? Okay. Skinny jeans. Um I'm sorry I'm wearing it but it's out. <laughs> it's a big time out now. But you're comfortable. Yes. So I think you will low key like it. <laughs> yeah, you like it? Yeah. Okay. Monochrome outfits. Um uh, Night suits. <laughs> so we block basically. Yeah. Prints on prints. Yeah, I'm very good at it. Correct. Quite loving. So double Discovery tap. Discovery of uh, Sandeep. Yeah. But it depends on the prints also, right? Yeah. Some yeah. people are getting the that yeah, wrong. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Oversized everything. Oversized to height. I do that right now. <laughs> <laughs> I'm oversized. Okay. Everything. So what do you say about that? Do you like it? Do you save it? Do yeah, it? yeah, I like, like I it. like both. Sides. And lastly, Birkenstock shoes like sandals with socks. Without socks. Yeah, with socks, yeah. lock. Block. Yeah. That's a very big trend right yeah. now. Yeah. It's questionable. <laughs> But yeah, you did very well. Lastly, I want to ask you what would be that advice that I mean a lot of aspiring, you know, fashion models and designers would be watching this. So what would you want to tell them? Just don't have blocks. You know, sometimes uh, you go through a block that is your personal yeah. um, take. Mm. But sometimes people tell you what to do, and that don't have that block. Mm. You know, just be independent and listen to your yeah, voice. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Look in, in in yourself rather than you know. Yeah. Oh yeah, one personal question I wanted to ask you is: I know that you love collecting stuff. <laughs> It's a very obvious thing. What's that one per- like your favorite piece of collectible that you? I think uh, the lingam heads at home. Yeah, the Shiva really. heads are just favorite, favorite. Always. Yeah, and I also believe um, in 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 what he stands for and yeah. what the god is. Yeah, so favorite. Love that. That's it. That's all. That's <laughs> you've done wonderfully, and you've been so amazing. Thank you so much for doing this. Out. Thanks a lot. I would say best best of luck to this very talented team of Flap Flap. uh they're starting a new thing and i hope all the support they need should they should get the best of luck
थैंक यू सो मच